Today we're going to finish out our travel project by creating a photo slideshow. So we're going to go online and find several pictures of each of our cities. We're going to arrange them. We're going to add some animations and some transitions and some music. And we're going to put it all together um, to finish ourselves up. So we're going to go into Google Chrome. Now let's just say, for example, I'm doing the city of London. I'm just going to type in London, and in Google Chrome, of course, just typing it in will, act, will automatically do a Google search. And here's our Google search results for London. I'm going to go up to the top here and switch over to images. And I'm going to find all kinds of pictures for London. So your task is to find five pictures for each city. Now, your task is to find pictures that are recognizable. So this one's pretty easy. Everyone sort of associates these double-decker buses with London. Um, this is Big Ben, which is a very recognizable um, part of London. This um, Ferris wheel-looking thing is called the Eye of London. That's or the, Lo the London Eye, rather, and that's a very recognizable um, place in London. So each of these cities has sort of parts of them that are very recognizable, and those are the kind of pictures that you want to choose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and when I hold the mouse over these pictures, it's going to give me some information. And part of that information is how big these pictures are. So this picture is 220 pixels by 165 pixels. That's not very big. I want to find the biggest pictures that I possibly can. So I'm going to look around until I find some that are bigger. That one looks bigger. That's uh, 1024 by 768. That's a good size picture. So I'm going to click on this one. So here it is. I got sort of the preview of it. I can actually go here and click on this that says full size image. Perfect. Nice and big. Easy to easy to see, not grainy. And then of course I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna save image as and of course you're gonna save this into your own folder. So we're gonna go to my documents. Um, you're gonna find your own folder. Mine's Mr. Eames. And once we're in here, I highly recommend that you go over to this button right here, and you're going to create a new folder inside of your folder. So I'm going to click this folder. And I'm going to call this Travel Pictures. And I'm just going to save all my travel pictures in here. So this one is actually already named London Sightseeing. That's perfect. So I'll just go ahead and press Save. And now I have one of my pictures saved. You're going to do that for all three of your cities. Um, five pictures each at minimum. You can have as many as you want, but at least five. And just remember what I said about the size of the picture. If you pick one of these smaller pictures, for example, if I were to pick the picture right here that was only um, 200 pixels by 160 pix pixels, um, that's going to come across really grainy um, on the slideshow, and I will take points off for that. So it's your task to find nice, large pictures. That would be perfect right there. That one's 1,200 by 800. So find some nice pictures, save them into your folder, and then we'll go ahead and pick up with the uh, software in the next part. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the program. It's called Photo Story 3. It actually comes on almost all Windows systems. So I'm going to start all programs and I'm going to photo story 3 for Windows and the program actually walks you step by step through the process but we'll go through it once just to make sure okay so we're gonna beginning begin a new photo story so press next And the first thing we need to do is import the pictures. Importing, of course, means bringing them into this program. So I'm going to click on Import Pictures. I'm going to go find them. And, of course, we're going to put, we put them in my folder, Mr. Eames, and I had a folder called Travel Pictures. And I've thrown some um, pictures in here, just some sort of random sample pictures for us. You'll see the one that we did together, um, London Sightseeing, is in there. But then a few other random pictures. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to click on the first one. I'm going to scroll down. And you'll recall that if I hold down the Shift key and click the last one, I'm going to grab all the pictures in between. I'm going to press OK.
here are my pictures. So these are, are fine as they are, so I'm going to go ahead and press next. Okay. And if we wanted to add a caption, we could. So we could say something like... And then we could use these keys up here to decide where that caption was and also like what kind of font and color it is. So if you actually do find some um, places, some pictures um, that you recognize and you want to share what they actually are, um, then go ahead and write a caption, um, but you don't have to. Um, if I want to add a caption for the next picture, I can click on it um, or I can press my arrow keys over here. I'm going to go ahead and press next. This slide is very important. Um, a couple things you could do here is that if I wanted to narrate, if I wanted to actually record my voice for this slideshow, I could do it right here. Um, we're not going to do that, of course. We're going to go instead to this customize motion. We're going to create some neat effects with the camera. So I need to go click on this specify start and end position of motion. And what I can do is this slide shows me how the picture is going to start, and this one shows me how it's going to end. Right now, they're the exact same. But I can take um, these little handles over here, and I can decide how big I want the ending to be. So if I make these, the ending part smaller, it's like I'm zooming in. If I make it bigger, it's like I'm zooming out. So actually, maybe what I'll do is I'll, z I'll start zoomed in, and I'll end zoomed out. Okay. Um, right now, um, they're set at five or eight seconds. That's, that's fine. I need to click this next button down here to get to my next picture. And if I want to save the changes, yes, I do. And for each one, I'm going to click on this. And you'll see that if I make this one that size, and I make this one sort of the same size, but I move it over, that's going to show the camera panning from one area to the next. So I'm going to do this for all of my slides. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as they are. I'm going to press preview for you so you can see what it actually looks like. And let me go back to the beginning. And it's not going very well because I'm recording, but basically it's zooming out like I said it would. It's hard to see, but it is. And also this one's panning over. So that's not working out very well. Once I've done all of the motions for all of the pictures, I'm going to go over here to transition. And I'm going to press the back button to get back to the very first picture. And transition is kind of like PowerPoint. We're just going to show how the slide changes from one to the next. Um, so right now, this is our first picture, so there is no previous picture. It's all black. Um, if I click this, this transition, it's going to show me what it looks like right here and how it goes to the next picture. And I can click Next. I want to save Yes. Now this one's going to be how I go from this picture to the next picture, and I can pick a different transition if I like. There's all kinds of them. So I, I click that one. It's going to give me a preview. I'll do that for all of my pictures. When I'm totally done, I'm going to press close. And we're done with this step, so I'm going to press next. Here's where we're going to add some music. So we're going to select the music. And I'm going to add a folder of music um, into your Land School Files folder. Um, I haven't done that yet, but I will and you'll have a chance to go through and listen to some of the music and decide which one you want. So let's just say I want a Beethoven Symphony. I will click on that. It will add that music automatically. I can press Next. And here's where I'm actually finishing up. I do want to save it on my computer. Here I need to specify where it's going to be saved. So I'm going to browse, and of course you're going to put it inside your own folder. So I will go to My Documents, Mr. Eames, and I'm going to call it I'm going to call it Eames Travel Slideshow so I know who it is and what it is. I'm going to press Save. And when I press Next now, it's going to go ahead. It's going to take a minute or two to combine everything and add the music, but it'll be done in a minute or two, and that's it. So you can go ahead and save that and send it to me, and you're done.